Yo, Cyclops, hit me! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy LP. Brandon. Savior. All right, man. Me, me and my nephews, we back. Uh, we trying to do a little bit better than we did the first time, you know. At least we got a background yeah, with a little clearer. Yeah, a little yeah, different. You know, yeah. baby steps, baby steps. But uh, we're back here with a review of the X Men episode that just dropped uh, today. Episode number three. Uh, to, once again, I think it was a great episode. I think they they set a lot of things up. They are building stories, just like you know what any good show can do. Um, I guess I'll start with um, the pacing. How do you how do y'all think the pacing of the story is going so far? I think it's going good. Um, this episode went a little bit faster, or as far as like mm -hmm. the stuff that happens. Episode getting like uh, wrapped up, or not wrapped up, but like. You know, finishing out by the time the episode ended, which surprised me. It wasn't a bad thing, but I was just mm -hmm. kind of surprised that uh, they went that route. Which, but it's, you know, it has me more curious to see what they do with uh, Madame Pryor, um, and if Nathan or Cable is going to come back. I'm, I'm assuming he'll come back and play, but how that will happen, mm -hmm. and Mister Sinister too. I don't think he's done, so I don't, I don't know. But like the pace was uh, fast but good. Yeah, real quick, but still like a decent pace, not too slow, not too fast that so you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I was I was wondering if they were gonna do like a couple of episodes to say who was Gene and who was not, and <laughs> they didn't yeah. waste no damn time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, they was very fast. I don't know if it's because of if you know comics, you know the stories, but a lot of people don't know comics, um, so I don't know if they're they're basing their pace off of man. They already know Madeline Pryor, <laughs> and even the. Even the toys, they dropped toys early. A lot of the, the, the Madeline Pryor came out with the baby. <laughs> like, that was in one of the toys, so they kind of gated up. So I don't know if they're trying to be like, look, we, we ain't, we ain't, we're not going to make y'all wait for this. We yeah. got bigger uh, <laughs> bigger and better stuff. Um, my man Sinister, one of my favorite Marvel villains, <laughs> Mr. Sinister, uh, finally made his appearance, um, which was dope. Mm -hmm. um, and Ms. Everybody knows that Sinister was the one who, who was the, the main person behind this storyline or whatever. Um, I've always liked Mr. Sinister. Like, where would you rate Mr. Sinister and your villains? I mean, I, I, not the biggest fan, but I mean, he. I mean, he kind of on the bottom for me. I mean, I mean he wow. above he above Sabretooth, but he's he's not a thug. He's a he's a he's a big player. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do you think? Uh, I think he's. Pro I mean, he's definitely behind. I'm actually just my favorite. He's right there. He's in like the top echelon, but I don't know too much about him to be honest. Only from the cartoon, I didn't. From the comics I read of X Men, he wasn't in it a lot. Yeah. So he's one of the villains where like, I think he's got a cool design. I'm interested in him, and we haven't seen him in the movies before, so having seen him like in the cartoon has been interesting. But um, yeah, I, I like Mister Sinister though. I mean, he's got a cool name, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I want them because you know he had that whole in X Men '96 that one episode that showed his origin story. Mm -hmm. The full entire episode is like one of my favorite episodes. And I'm hoping that they give Sinister a little bit more play because a lot of people don't know about yeah, Mr. Sinister. Yeah. He's not like no Thanos where he's just yeah. a power guy. He's just he he's behind the scenes pulling yeah, strings. Yeah, to keep that creep, those creepy vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Sinister. <laughs> Richard, he's just like like the mad scientist, like the X Men yes. or whatever. Yeah, he, he's a, he's he's definitely a creep, but he's he's very smart. Yeah, and that's what mm -hmm. makes Sinister a little bit uh, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, I want them to. I think most of the time, like the '96 version, they. He was he he was always messing with Gene and Scott, and that was the main scene that he did. And he's still hell. He's, <laughs> he's, still, he's, still, he's still doing it now. So I really want them to play into more of his other schemes and bring back the nasty boys. Like you know, Samson got a squad too now. The nasty boys and you know give give him a little bit more love. <laughs> the nasty boys is a crazy name. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a head out. Every yeah. time. <laughs> what would the remember? A hair I bag. About them, yeah. a hair bag. You know, like, don't nobody. You call me hair bag. <laughs> hair bag. Gorgeous George. Yeah, like the the nasty boys. Was not the best. Yes, was not the best. <laughs> I always thought it was cool though because it was so like 
<laughs> Come on now, really? This is this, this <laughs> what you name naming your yeah. squad? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to see Sinister. Even when the, when the MCU finally hits, I want Sinister. He's one of the ones I want to get done right because yeah. Yeah. bringing Sinister live action, you can't wear that in live action. You can't no. look like Miss Sinister live action and it works. Mm -hmm. So he's one of those characters where when they bring him, he can't just be a man in a business suit whatever, no, yeah, but they no. got to... I don't know how they that's were. That's why that's hard. Yeah. It's almost like when they, when they did Apocalypse. Like, he didn't look... I mean, he looked all right, yeah. but it's just like... It's, it's just hard to translate from like, you know... Yeah, it's it's nice. one of those characters where yeah, it's hard to do from comics to uh, live action. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely could have Mr. Sense with the big A on his belt. <laughs> oh, yeah, <definitely. laughs> that's what I think a lot of people don't realize. Like, everybody doesn't... All the looks don't transfer into live action like people people think. Um, mm -hmm. Even with Wolverine and, his, and him ran the, the cow on his head... We'll yeah. see in Deadpool how it look, but I've seen other, I've seen like stuff on YouTube where people doing videos and it was cool, but live action you yeah. gotta be like, yeah, 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 how, how, how is it gonna work? Um, I mean, you, you damn no got, got a superhero outfit on, you, know, you, you know, got on you know. your, <laughs> the theme, I'm yeah. raised, I'm raised today. <laughs> yeah, 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 you ain't coming your work clothes. He's like, let me go ahead yeah. and put, let me put on my little <laughs> spandex outfit. Charles, <laughs> don't get this ready. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else happened? Say, I one thing I noticed today that everybody who most people know that they already said that and they made morph non-binary or whatever, and the morph Wolverine thing is kind of looming. Whether I don't think they're gonna make Wolverine gay, mm -hmm. but morph definitely has some kind of feelings for Wolverine. They clearly mm -hmm. even he was in the shower. Like, you need me to, you need to get some hard to reach yeah. when Wolverine was in the shower. So it's a matter of time how it's gonna go. How would you guys feel? If they made Wolverine gay, I think instead of making Wolverine gay, I think they can put they can make more of the kind of sin because people would relate to that. You know, you got that you got that Bessie that you kind of crushing way. on, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they not they that not way. Yeah. So that that could be a good pretty much like a route. What's, what's your name on um, on Stranger Things? Oh yeah, Will. Will, uh, how, yeah. how Will's is so much in love yeah. with Mike. And it's like, dude, yeah. I don't want you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think Wolverine's gonna be like, I don't. I think it'll just be more crush on him, um, or just either more crush on him, or they're just like simply like more from Wolverine, and just like real tight or whatever, like just good friends. Um, real tight. <laughs> so tight, so tight. Um, no diddy. Because because <laughs> Wolverine's obviously clearly focused on Jean. Like he, he, uh, he almost yes. did, he almost had Jean. <laughs> yeah, but she was right there. I mean, if more morph into Jean. <laughs> ah, yeah, that would be kind of like uh, sick though. Nah, he wants Jean. Win, win. He want, He literally stayed back to tell you, <laughs> even though he was told to stay back. And he took and he yeah, took his shot. That's how really she on the damn bed recovering. He took his shot. I was like, when's the last time you, you hear Wolverine not complaining about not going on the mission? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back in the same, stay back. He li he literally took it, and he almost got. It. Yep. Yep. I mean, Jean Jean know what it is. She know Wolverine yeah. is down. You know, in love and flying, waiting. Which yeah. I, I, I'll be real. I play, and they were talking about this on Twitter last week. They're like, which I I kind of agree with. I don't really see why Gene would get with Wolverine. Like they just don't seem. I mean, like maybe it's like it's like one of those like you know opposite attracts. It's like Wolverine's a complete opposite of Scott yeah, Summer. Yeah, the bad boy. Which I, you know, but like on paper, like they just like don't ever like. It seems like one of those like fling things. Like they can never be like like her and Scott are. So I, you know, I we thought Wolverine was gonna move past that because he's I mean the Rogue Magneto thing, which kind of took a back seat. Well. This episode. So I guess they're gonna play with both of those love triangles, I guess, because they haven't um I know Wolverine Gene and Cyclops stepped up this episode more than Rogue and uh, Magneto. So I guess I don't know, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I think I think that um I don't know what route. I, I thought Wolverine gonna go out the mad and prior to the enemy. Like, yo, come in and holler at you. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take what I I'm gonna take. It up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take what I can get. I can't get the real, but I, you damn near close enough. I couldn't yep. even tell the difference. So yeah, that's gonna be uh interesting. It's gonna be kind of interesting. What if they decide not to put Jean? Now that Jean came back and she having issues, she might gravitate to Wolverine. Cause Wolverine, I think, I think it's more of that that bad boy thing. Yeah, yeah. Versus that, I think it's gonna matter how Scott. Acts towards Gene moving yeah, forward. That's true. Cause like I don't know when I, I don't know when you was here or what mm -hmm. I, you know I had a baby. <laughs> My baby mama is you pretty much. <laughs> so again, this is another way they can go so many routes. But we we talked about Magneto 
<laughs> and Rogue, who was missing in the danger room <laughs> while everybody out there bro, fighting bro. and going through everything. <laughs> Just like what? It's <laughs> crazy. They didn't show up to the end of the episode because they was in the danger room practicing yeah. on moves the whole damn episode. He probably didn't send it to the field because he wanted to go wash up. Like, <laughs> why you ain't seeing Rogue to go? Like what? Yeah, so I know, I know we talked about this a little bit the first episode. I get what they what they're going with. But I don't like how they do my boy Gambit. <laughs> like my, my boy Gambit, like they they can't they 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 can't play they can't play my boy like that. How do you, how do you feel how that how this whole situation going? I think I was surprised after that at the end of the second episode where he finds out about Rogue and Magneto. I thought they were gonna kind of go more into that route, but Gambit is just like now like just kind of denying it and not accepting it, which is I mean, he knows what's happening right in front of him. Yeah. But I don't know like. Gambit and Rogue, like, are they just a fling? Are they, like, exclusive? Like, or maybe, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because that's the thing, like, you know, because he's not, if they were exclusive, I think Gambit would be, like, front on it more. And, like, you know, be like, I'm not standing for it. But I don't think he's trying to deny it or whatever. I think that's the only reason why he hasn't, like, flipped out. And, like, Rogue hasn't really, like, felt bad about it really either. Because we're sneaking around, because she don't want the other X-Men to find out. Mm -hmm. But it's not like she's, like, you know, making sure Gambit doesn't know or freaking out about it. So I think, I don't know. I wonder how they're going to keep on going with that or he's gonna stand up or Rogue Man he, like I don't know. They gotta have some kind of arrangement because we can't be together if there's no touching and like, like what, what we doing? Yeah <laughs> but I mean it, it ain't his fault. That so, you know, that's so like maybe they got some arrangement where he can be in, in the streets to get what he need to get and then they come back together. I don't mm. know. Yeah that's I, it's, it's, it's gonna be interesting. I definitely want to see more focused on different characters. Um, I don't want Gene Cyclops focused, you know, just like the old X Men, let yeah. different episodes and stuff mm -hmm. pop up. Um, it may have, it may be something with Magneto and Gambit got to go on a bitch together, and that's gonna be like <laughs> road trip. Yeah, yeah that, that's gonna be that's gonna be. I really think that storyline is gonna take a big part of this season. I think I think this Gene situation is gonna be there, but Madeline Pryor is gone. I don't think she'll yeah, be back uh, until like later on. She just yeah. she dipped out. They kind of they kind of shut her stuff her story down real real quick. Mm -hmm. But I really think that I I don't know. I, I just feel like that Magneto thing is gonna is gonna yeah, be sparked. That's probably why it hasn't blown up yet because they just they let it fester and then Gambit gonna explode. Well, I'm assuming Storm's gonna be the focus next episode because. I was well, I was getting surprised because they hadn't touched on her at all, mm -hmm. and then like to like the very very end. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming, like you said, you know they're gonna focus on different X Men. So, She's gonna get a, a majority of the episode next um, episode. So I wonder where that's gonna go. How Ford is gonna come into play with the X Men, or is, is you know if he's just gonna help Storm or not. Um, they yeah. may wait a couple episodes because maybe it might be too soon for her to come back. So. Yeah, because hon yeah. Yeah, hon honestly, I, I would be upset if they gave Storm back her powers after like, one yeah, episode. Too yeah, I'm yes, like, all right, come yeah, on, guys. Yeah. We're going to have some kind of struggle here. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, was, I was really looking forward to her no power art and where they were, and where they were going there. For those that don't know, uh, Forge, the guy who showed up at the end, is a mutant. He can pretty much build anything. A lot of people say he's the mutant Tony Stark. I like to say he's better than Tony Stark because of his mutant powers, but you know, Marvel's never going to say that. Uh, but him and Storm did have like a relationship and stuff in the comic book, so I don't. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be working close to Storm, and maybe they'll spark something or whatever uh, with that. I don't want a whole lot of love though. Like if they do go, if they go with that, then it's, it's like a whole bunch of. You got Jubilee and Sunspot look like they may be whatever. You got Gambit, Rogue, and Magneto. You got Cyclops and Jean. You got Morph in love with Wolverine. Wolverine in love with still with Jean. And then it gives Storm with four. So everybody got somebody. Everybody got a relationship going on. So yeah, or a situation I think, yeah. shit. I think Storm yeah. would just be one. Wait, here's my question. Was Forge or was Bishop talking about Forge when he's talking about like, I'm going to go to somebody who knows? Yeah, you, if you remember, you got to think back to the old X-Men cartoon because that's the, the universe that they keep yeah, it in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And when, remember when they went back in time, Forge was the one who sent Bishop mm -hmm, that's right. yeah, to, yeah. to the future or whatever, to, to, to all of this. So... Which I never understood how that worked with Forge and how he that's should have been old and shit. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah, I, I never understood how that worked <laughs> even originally. Um, but yeah, that's definitely who they're taking who they're taking Nate to. So, and actually too, that's, they changed that because Cable's future, Cable and Bishop does not are not in the same timeline. So for yeah. for Bishop to take Cable there to get healed, Cable went 
uh, I think further back, if I'm not mistaken, than Bishop is, because mm -hmm. everybody know Bishop and Cape are time travel, but they're they're different levels of time travel. Yeah. I want to say, I want to say for certain that Cable is further out than Bishop. I think so. Yes, yeah, so I, I I really I really can't remember, but I, you guys can definitely uh, let me know from exactly when that is. But I know they're not in the same timeline. <laughs> I know that for certain. Like Bishop and Cable didn't even get along. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they was always bucking, bucking shots at each other. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, what route they're gonna be going with with Cable going there, and if he's gonna be coming back. Mm -hmm. Cause in the comics, Gene and Cyclops, yeah, Gene and Cyclops go back in the go back in the future to some whatever, and they actually raise Cable, but they don't go. They he don't they don't go by Gene and Cyclops. It's a whole yeah. it's a whole thing. I, I gotta start getting my I gotta pull my old comic books out so I can remember <laughs> some of these issues. I'll be feeling bad. I, I I got I got these issues in the room in the box. So I'm trying to remember the episodes. It was it was a, it was a one off. No, it was, I think it was a mini series or whatever. When they went back in time and they actually raised Cable as a, as a baby, so Cable didn't know that the whole time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, how Cyclops is gonna to be about, you know, abandoning, feeling like he got abandoned yeah. by, even though his dad didn't abandon him, he already know that they already had the show Shiar episode where Cyclops know that his dad didn't really abandon him. So that was some stuff they be not linking to the '96. You really pay attention. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys catch some of the stuff, but there was an episode when Corsair came back and they were trying to save that uh, the delegate from some Shiar people, mm -hmm. and Cyclops and them had to work together, and that's when Cyclops he he mended his fences with Corsair. So he knew that Corsair didn't leave you. I, we threw you out of the plane with a parachute. <laughs> you remember that parachute was on fire? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be interesting because, you know, Havoc is still part of X Factor 2, who was Cyclops' brother, mm -hmm. whereas they, mm -hmm. they interacted in the 96, but they never really had anything. So it's so much stuff that they can do yeah. with, 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 with X Men moving forward. And I don't know how many episodes. That's why I said they need eight seasons because uh, it's a lot. I, yeah, mean, I, mean, I meant to look that up last time, but I, I can't remember to do it. But yeah, I got to see how many episodes they got this season because they got a lot to <laughs> yeah, touch can, on cover. Yeah, they can they can go so many, they can go so many so many routes. Uh, anything else? Anything else good to happen that that we that we missed? I think that was pretty much most of the. I think the animation during um. But well, one, the whenever Madame Pryor or what's her Gob Goblin Queen, Goblin Queen, mm -hmm. uh, whenever she took over the mansion, like they got kind of like dark and freaky. Yeah, but a lot of those stuff. Yeah, uh, a lot of the visions and stuff, and also when they went to the uh, Astro, was Astro, Astro Plane, Plane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with Jean, like the two Jeans and um, Madame Pryor, like they did a really good job with the animation, and the visuals there. Like I appreciate that they kind of like really went for it. They're not afraid to get like a little weird or go like a little different and stuff like that yeah um because i don't you know i don't, haven't really seen the astral plane being explored like that especially in the x-men movies or whatever yep, never, so they, yeah it's cool to see it like being portrayed like that where they can really like you know do something nice with it so that was a, a really nice moment of the episode i liked a lot yeah it was it was a couple of things that was a little like these <laughs> little, little kids might like, <laughs> run for their mama <laughs> <laughs> we forget this a kitchen <laughs> yeah it was, it was almost some doctor strange and then multiple yeah, yeah, yeah doctor the strange same. weird like we're like like super dark, and mm -hmm. like I said, that was that was that was good. I'm also too. I think one more thing is with Bishop leaving now. With Bishop was on the credits and everything too. Is are they going to be showing Bishop in the future, or is yeah, that the end of Bishop? That. So like, because Bishop was part of this team. Mm -hmm. I actually bought a Bishop figure. He's one of my figures. I got out of the other <laughs> X Men '97 Marvel Legends. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how that goes on moving forward too. Mm -hmm. So again, it's just it's just a lot. So overall. One to ten, what you got? <sighs> because it was a Gene and Cyclops episode, I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. But for me, for Mr. Sinister, you know, eight point five nine. I thought you was hate. I thought you was hating on Sinister. I like how creepy they made him. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah if they yeah, keep if creepy. they keep that creepy darkness background, like yeah. spooky. Yeah. Coming out, the, coming out of the shadows, yeah. 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 we see somebody behind yeah. you. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, <laughs> talking like about that baby monitor too. That was yeah. 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 creepy. Yeah. yeah, that was some supernatural. <laughs> supernatural. <laughs> I'd probably say I'd probably, uh, eight and a half too. Um, the first two episodes, you know, it's, it's kind of like you know we're just kind of back, you know, kind of blowing our faces off with all the cool action and stuff like that. So, and there wasn't any, you know. The first two episodes had like you know Cyclops shooting off the Sentinel's head or Cyclops doing the superhero landing and Storm and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Which every episode doesn't need to have that. Whatever yeah, episode's yeah. not gonna blow your socks off. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of you know just advancing the story and stuff. But it's still a good episode. You know they're, they're three for three so far. It hasn't been a bad episode. Not, not at all. Yeah, yeah. I gotta. I, I'll give it a nine. 
Um, I agree. I definitely agree with, with that. I don't want every episode to have these oh my god moments. Yeah. Because uh, they had a cool moment then, Bishop charging up. I mean, the Simon yeah, yeah, charging yeah. up. Yeah, so like that, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I, I, think the, I think the one good thing about it is that they're not uh, doing too much every episode. Mm -hmm. So, you, yeah. like, we cartoons, you're supposed to have a problem and solve it in 30 minutes. That's, <laughs> unless it's a continuation. <laughs> yeah. That's how cartoons work. Yeah. So, they supposed to, even though that, I, thought, I felt like the Goblin Queen stuff was fast, it makes mm -hmm. sense for an animated cartoon. Because yeah, yeah. we shouldn't be spending five episodes yeah, all on that. this. So, I, I, I guess I go back to what I, what I said earlier. So, but yeah, I definitely want to give it a nine. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of how the episode was. This is me and my nephews. This is Brandon. This is Xavier. We will catch you guys next week on episode four.